think no one from Shin Bay. Hey guys! Good evening everyone! Oh my gosh, it's 11 o'clock in the evening right now. It's May 12, 2020. And uh, I'm sorry we're um, a little bit late today uh, in starting our um, live insights because it's a uh, business review day for me. Uh, either way, at least we are still here. We're live. And I'd like to just call on um, uh, some comments here. We have a request from Lugarius. Uh, good evening, Lugarius. Uh, I know you guys are joining us. Uh, I'm not sure if you are already on, but uh, you requested here ACEPH, ABS, and MEG. Okay, so uh, let's just wait for our friends, guys, okay? Uh, if you don't mind, I'll start gathering the questions or the stocks you would like me to review. In fact, I'd like to say good evening to Robert, um, JJ Pastor, and uh, yes, for Robert, he... Um, good evening po, Ms. JD. Uh, mauna na akong mag-request po. MRSGI, uh, BPI, AC, and MTI. Okay. Yes, definitely. Um, I'm not 100% sure if uh, Lugarius is already on, so I'll prioritize your request, um, Robert. Okay? So, MRSGI first, then BPI, AC, MPI, then we proceed with AC, PH. Uh, no, actually, let's proceed with JJ's request. MAC, uh, attack, MY, uh, CHP, uh, IDC, uh, DITO. There you have it. Thanks and more, more blessings to us. Yes, and more profit for us. Yeah. <laughs> um, by the way, before I start, just uh, for our new joiners, um, will be able to watch this video um, we do this every night we uh, take a look at the uh, stock market and we uh, share our insights on how the market performed for that day and we uh, talk about it we see based on our charts and our indicators we try to anticipate the next possible movements uh, based on what we see on our chart and uh, if uh, you have not subscribed yet to our channel I am inviting everyone to subscribe and uh, hit the like button if uh, you feel uh, there is value to what we are doing. Uh, of course, yes, Robert, PSE Insights first, uh, first and foremost. Yep, that is our daily routine. We always start with uh, PSEI. And uh, just to share uh, the treatment I have here, we focus on the chart. We focus on technical analysis and uh, uh, some of our joiners here are the people who are in our live chat. Normally, you guys are the ones feeding me with uh, the most latest news because I, we all know that I'm not 100% very active during the day because I have work. There, Chris Ko, Sec B, A G I M Y and E E I. Okay, Sec B, A G I M Y. Oh, there's already M wide <clears throat> and EEI. Okay, I think we have enough uh, requests to already start. <clears throat> and um, we load our chart. We like to use the black background because it is better. Okay. Oh, no, no significant movement yet. No catalyst for our um, <clears throat> PSEI. And uh, I understand today, yeah, I think it was today when uh, Duterte announced that uh, there are uh, major areas in Metro Manila and NCR plus Cebu who still need to go through an uh, ECQ, right? So that means this may have influenced the uh, flat line uh, performance in today's market. No significant movement, but I still see this area as uh, at a support level. We are sitting at the MA20 line. So, by the way, I am using a Bollinger Band. Do you see this? This is a Bollinger Band. And at the center of it, I did not edit the settings. 
it just defaults to MA20. So this is the average price wherever the line is at. That's the average price in the past 20 days. And uh, so that's why we can say that it's just sitting right at the MA20 line because normally when <clears throat> you are moving above the MA20 level, the MA20 becomes your support. And when you are moving below the MA20 level, your MA20 becomes your resistance. And for PSEI, I think people are still hesitating to add more volume because we majority feel that uh, there's really not much business as of yet up until the end of the month or even uh, it might extend to, I don't know, uh, June for all we know. Okay. Uh, good evening. Hi, Marco. Hi, QT Mustafa. Good lang. Um, Ray, GFC and Ma. Yes, definitely. Okay, uh, Geraldo, good evening, Ms. JD. How are you? M Miralco, Cebu Pacific, uh, MBT, Costco, Pure Gold, NMRC. Yep, uh, Noli, ACEPH, JFC, uh, they're already there. Ma is already there. I'll just add AEV. I hope you can stay with me for the entire one hour. Uh, normally, I just do this for an hour and then uh, we normally are able to cover everything. All right, so let us start and uh, we're done with PSEI. Let's proceed with MRSGI. <clears throat> okay, so for MRSGI, there's a, um, a good reaction as we go near your MA20. So I feel that that is a, a good sign of a uh, you know possible bounce at this level. So, um, but we still would like to plot our support at the uh, very near the MA20 line. So just in case the market gives you a chance with a slight uh, dip there, uh, you will be able to get in at a much cheaper price. But for investors, um, if you feel that this is a promising uh, area to uh, start uh, accumulating volume uh, and you are a long-term investor, I feel that, yes, look at that. Your potential is still very high. Um, although no guarantees when it comes to... Uh, uh, the element of time there. We have really no control as to how long are we going to stay in this bottom area or we might even go through an extended sideways before we even pick up and uh, start building up in the momentum, uh, bringing the price higher. BPI. Okay. Nice, nice bounce BPI. Look at that. You see this? Um so there's a slight increase in the price as of yesterday. Uh, however, um, it's just a uh, minimal volume. But right now, it was supported by uh, another green uh, candlestick paired with the right volume here. And we're starting to cross the MA20 line. Okay, So this for me is already bullish. And um, see how constricted this is? I feel that when it touches the upper Bollinger Band and it starts to to trigger on the upside, then we might have significant or, uh, you know, uh, a steep increase uh, days, days after that. Like what happened here? This is actually the reverse of what I'm envisioning. So it started triggering the lower Bollinger Band and see what happened right after that. Drastic drop or a breakdown in the price. So on, uh, on the flip side, when it uh, triggers the upper Bollinger Band, uh, most likely... Uh, when a constricted band happens there and it triggers, then you also have a dramatic increase in the price. And I think this is already it. Okay, let's see how the uh, bid and ask uh, ended today. Okay, so I feel that tomorrow, if you want to enter in this stock, uh, try to haggle near uh, the MA20 line. As I feel that uh, with some selling pressure here uh, in uh, big volume, uh, it might give you a chance uh, and it drops at that level. Okay, maybe 60, 70. No, 60. 60 area. Just uh, where your MA20 is at 60 level. AC? AC, be extra careful, alright? <clears throat> so, 
this is the first um, trigger of a bearish signal here is your red candlestick and uh, also this it looks almost the same right um, it came out at the uh, resistance level and uh, that is already a sign of a bearish signal there there you have it that is what we call a shooting star so if I may just uh, show you how it looks like candle stick oh It's a reverse. Can I always uh, interchange this? There. But. Yeah. Guys, let me know if I have the right candlestick there, right? I know this is uh, similar, but it's just a reverse in, in its shape. There are so many terms in uh, the candlestick patterns, and sometimes they interchange them. But that one, um, almost similar looking, but when it comes out at the resistance, that already gives us a bearish signal. Okay, That means we are antip anticipating for this stock to uh, drop some more, and the next possible support that I see is for it to... Um, Revisit your MA20 line. You know what I see here is that, um, remember I talked about uh, the evening star pattern um, previously, right? So it is trying to make an attempt to do that. Inverted evening star. Yeah, see this? One, two, but what happened here is that there, um, you had two, weak candlestick uh, happening at the resistance area and then maybe what we need to see here not that I'm asking for it but potentially you will have a uh, big red candlestick that might potentially form uh, by tomorrow look look at the price here uh, at the 17 at the 704 level the uh, selling pressure is higher than your buying pressure here. So most likely you might have a, a, a drop. And another thing to look at, you're very near the overbought level. So you're still at the uh, um, more expensive side in the pricing here. Oh, hanging man. There you have it. <laughs> okay, thanks, Geraldo. Let me just show you. It's the hanging man. So I need to start compiling those uh, sh bite sized learnings about uh, candlesticks. So I have a, a library of that. Uh, and if you haven't watched that yet, I, I created uh, one module on it. It's the evening star. So probably I'll create another one. It's the hanging man. Okay. Here. See that? See here? So you have a longer wick uh, below and then uh, a short or a small body. There you have it. And that is a bearish candlestick. Next is, I'd like to read your messages here. Uh, Wakato said, uh, nice to watch your insights again. Miss JD, late ako sa cut loss ko last week. That's why I'm only waiting for a uh, break even. No buying power. Uh, Wakato, what is your stock here? What are you are referring to? I guess it's a hanging. Okay, good evening, Carlos. Okay, so let us continue on our list here. Uh, MPI. <clears throat> um, MPI, I feel that uh, no, no volume yet. As we move up here, your volume is also on a decline. So I think we might um, even go back to our um, support level. So that means we don't have enough volume for the uh, price to uh, move higher. 
to 90. Yep, so uh, we are at a short term resistance and we have a bearish candlestick here. So just in case, which is not very far from where it is at right now. So uh, around 2.75 would be the next support that we see. And then it'll just test your support, retest, and then continue to move up again. Because you're still at a very, very cheap level right here. Mac. Mac sideways. Okay, still at the uh, very near your support. Okay, and I think the volume is already starting to uh, show some signs of recovery here, right? It did a, a decline, and then when it reached the bottom right here, then uh, people felt that that was already a reasonable price, and so it lifted the price higher. And I think it will also start to move up there. But you're very near your uh, support area. I think it will just do sideways if uh, we don't have a big catalyst to uh, dictate the price higher. Uh, 430 is not impossible to reach again. Tech. <clears throat> nice. Oh, you know what? I think this is... Um, I'm not sure um, who asked the uh, morning star pattern the morning star pattern uh, which is the uh, reverse of our evening star that for me is an example of a morning star uh, candlestick pattern look at that um, so if I may use this as an example step number one uh, the price level uh, or the trend has to be on a bearish declining trend and then there's a gap down and then there's a small body, a small body, and then the next price now is a significant green candlestick. Let's see if uh, this is an example of uh, a morning star. So it's on a decline, step number one. Um, <clears throat> there's a, yeah, slightly lower in price. And then the next is it did a gap up. So I feel that the next possible movement, uh, given that I think this uh, uh, shows a, an example of a morning star. Uh, let me put that on my notes because I'd like to use that as an example for my video later. Uh, morning star. <clears throat> so with this pattern, then there's a big chance that we will be facing uh, some more bullish movements here. Note that it doesn't mean that it will go all the way up like what we've seen in this picture. In some occasions, it will retest your support. Notice this. Uh, it is going to move up eventually, but it first retested your support area, which is around here, uh, for several days before it takes off. So it's not far from, um, it's, it's not uh, impossible for the price to go back and retest this level, which is, for me, uh, I'd say around this area, there's a big possibility that that level will be retested, 7.73. And then uh, this price will eventually take off fully right after that. So you'll have this. Okay, so something like that. And then he moves up and then probably sideways a little bit and then takes off. So that's what we see in tech. MY. By the way, guys, if you have not liked our video yet, or if you have not subscribed, I am inviting everyone, the new joiners especially, that we're doing this every day. And uh, you can click the subscribe and click the bell button so you're always uh, updated. Okay. Uh, Ray Joseph said, Miss JD, may, ask, may I ask for your top five stocks, uh, personal picks for long term? Okay, so far... I took advantage of the situation. I am in BDO. I entered uh, the previous days. I'm in JFC, which is I'm red right now, but I don't really mind. Uh, if I have buying power, I will add some more. And I'm in Dito. I am waiting for a long term. Uh, I know it's a speculative stock. I'm just waiting for um, next year, most likely, and see really where my my investment will go. 
and uh, we'll, we'll see. The next that I'm looking into right now is URC. I'm just looking for a good entry. I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to get in uh, around 118 level, but I failed. I was not able to do it because I was not able to watch the market. See that? I was, um, I don't know, was it Maria that I was uh, talking to last time? She was in uh, URC. And I was saying that it will revisit this level. And then I was not able to get in. But overall, now that we're here in URC, uh, you know, we have a dividend here. <clears throat> and uh, I feel that while it's true that we're very near our resistance right now, there's a big possibility that we will start to push the price higher here. So maybe the next uh, possible uh, entry price for me, because I really want to do this long term for URC, uh, around the 123 level, because uh, we already have declined significantly here. So at least I have uh, fast food, which is a uh, number one uh, fast food chain in the country. Number two, I have a bank. Number three, I have uh, consumer goods, right? And number four, uh, I still have to check. I, I don't have number four and number five. Dito is there, but I don't really uh, empower people to follow my decision because that was a speculative stock. Uh, no basis yet. And um, let's see later on for my number four and number five. Maybe you can share your... your uh, top pick and we can also uh, take a look at that yeah malapit na ex date <laughs> wakato uh, said why video instead of bpi or mbt um yeah that's a good question uh, i and this is just me uh i just felt that video is really cheap and uh in terms of uh popularity <laughs> video is more popular and uh no i don't really have a uh, bias and uh you know i just felt that the position right now for video is uh, more promising than the others let me see bpi see that it has dropped significantly so uh, heavily beaten stock there and bpi let's see also the same also the same. This were the reason. The only reason why I was able to enter here is because I really didn't catch this. And uh, look at this. Um, it was on a sideways for a long time. MBT. I find MBT super slow. There you have it. No, no volatility. Sometimes that's where we really gain when there's high volatile or high volatility. Uh, let me go back to uh, BDO. So either way, these banks for me, uh, MBT, uh, MBT, BPI, BDO, I don't see any negative news around them. So it's just a matter of choosing uh, which stock you're more comfortable dealing with. If I find Reese. <laughs> BDO and assets. Yeah, after X date, nagda drop yung price. Sorry, dyslexic. I read from the bottom to the top, so I have to remind myself. So Carla said, "Why video?" So that was my explanation. I think you're seeing ayon. Malapit na X date. After X date, nagda drop yung price. Yeah, that too, and uh, we have observed that in uh, so many stocks as well. So that's uh, given, but people should not be affected. Uh, when it drops, especially when um, we are certain of what our objective is even before we got in. Look at uh, JFC, for instance. I don't really mind. It's dropping and I'm just waiting for my buying power probably during payday. And then I can add some more volume. Uh, Robert, maybe the catchy slogan, we find ways. Kidding. We find ways is MBT. Not BDO, right? See, I can't even remember. Video is good because video is one of the bigger banks. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I, I I can recall in some of the articles I've read. 
Bigger banks have less exposure to bad sectors like aviation and consumer defaults. They also have low NPL at 2% compared to 4% in average. There you have it. Well, very well said, Christopher. But the truth is, these banks, I was looking at um, good companies to enter at that time when I had the buying power, and I found uh, BDO as a more promising uh, chart when I had the buying power. That's my only reason. <laughs> and of course, I knew that BDO is a good company. Okay. Uh, let me just go back. So wait. Where did I even stop? Let me see. AC, did we talk about that? AC. Okay, done. Uh, MPI. Yeah, I think we're done with this. Tech, we're done. Uh, M wide. <clears throat> oh yeah, I remember uh, incorrectly spelling this. Okay, let's go back to M wide. This is where I got interrupted, I think. Okay, so see this? It again respected the MA20 line um, being the resistance. Therefore, I feel that this will revisit your uh, support right at this level. See that? Uh, probably just do range trading uh, at the moment if you are uh, interested. But another thing that to um, take note of here is that so we increased in price, right? And then we uh, triggered a, a, a rejection at, that, at the 6.721 level. So we ended red today. But comparing the volume from the previous day and uh, the red candlestick or the performance in today's market notice only around 30 percent of uh, the volume exited the trade something that's my interpretation of uh, this situation some people are still holding on to their uh, position waiting probably for a breakout play breakout of the me20 line uh, overall there is a, as we uh, bottom at uh, the 584 level, you see significant uh, buildup in the volume now. And uh, another thing to also uh, take note of, uh, the rule that we follow here is in RSI, when you do a double bottom, because this is a double bottom here, uh, price reaching these levels, uh, notice how your uh, RSI behaves. So we are now slightly higher, no, significantly higher than the previous low. And so what happened next? There's a uh, slight bounce. It's just that the next resistance is very near. That's why you're having some rejection. So the chances of revisiting your support again is not impossible. That's MY. CHP. Okay, just people taking profit, I think. That's the only reason why it dropped today. And um, chances are it will revisit your previous resistance, which is at this level. Okay, the reason why we plotted at that area is because there is um, a rhythm in the movement whenever that price is hit. Okay, previously there was a decline or rejection at that area and then we managed to break it normally when it goes back it goes back to the resistance creating a brand new support at that level so 1.14 for me is a good area to monitor then once you see a confirmation that it is already bouncing at that area then that's when you enter overall look at that you are at a very very cheap level it's like i think it will uh, reset at this area and then it goes up now but look at that um, for the past how many weeks the bottom or the each time it dips it creates a higher low first low over here and then it retraced the second low is already higher therefore the chances of creating a higher high is uh, really possible IDC <clears throat> IDC over here also 
Let's wait and see. This could just be a slight overshoot uh, at the uh, support level. Uh, I think it will also create that uh, possible bounce in this area. Uh, we see this as a possible support. The reason why I said that is because I see this. I also see this. And uh, this one too. And uh, the third day moving in this area. So I think what we need to see tomorrow if uh, most of the action will start to happen above 189 then that's a good sign okay uh, Dito Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so right. BDO, we find ways. MBT, you're in good hands. <laughs> okay, hi, Miss JD. Uh, is that done? No, not yet, Maria. I'm gonna add that. So I think it was you, Maria. Remember we talked about URC? And I said I was interested in getting in uh, URC. Because um, who asked that? What are my top five picks in uh, top five picks for long term? And I shared three, but um, I don't have the last two yet. Uh, so tell I'm gonna add that after AEV. So we are now in Dito, but let me read your messages first. And I already added tell. Uh, JK Viray, good evening. Uh, all HC, C, and to go. All HC, C, and to go. MWC from Mary. <clears throat> MWC and ICT there so how was your um, um, trade involving URC were you profitable were you able to exit how was it maybe you can share your experience here okay so while I wait for your response let me talk about uh, Dito first. Oh, this looks like a bounce for Dito, right? This is your support area. This is another example of uh, a morning star, but yeah, could be, right? So it declined, but the, uh, the number of days when it declined is just really small. So this is a big red candlestick and then there's a gap down that happened here and then there's a big green candlestick and so it started to it starts to move up uh, and I mentioned earlier that sometimes we can have something like this it retests your support so most likely this is what's happening so there's a slight increase and then it revisits the area uh, and so um, with as well the uh, kind of candlestick that we see as of today I feel that we will have more bullish movements. Uh, it actually has almost the same, right? Almost the same pattern. So uh, I see more climb in uh, the coming days for this stock. But just in case the market gives you a chance at a much lower price, anywhere from 2.06 to 2.15, I think that's already a good entry price. Uh, another badly beaten stock here. Uh, it has been on a... Uh, decline for so many months now it even reached uh, as high as eight and uh, let us see look at that see where the volume is this area over here no volume and I think we've reached the bottom that's why people are already accumulating volume uh, at this point 
so if you are into this for long term you are at a very very cheap level um, over here okay Dito. yes I exited I exited took a little profit volatile talaga kasi so I narrow my picks na yep thanks for sharing and uh, if you have the chance uh, and I've learned this from the other uh, videos I've also watched uh, try to just uh, maintain uh, a small amount of uh, stocks sometimes there are portfolios that are so long of a list uh, they engage in so many stocks that they're not able to uh, really monitor it closely and strategize their next moves so try just to maintain a few less than five would be okay and um, Wang DMC for you yes definitely I can add that okay so we're done with Dito the next one is ACEPH okay <clears throat> we're sitting at a uh, possible support here and uh, we're sitting at a just at the MA20 line so let us see if we, if we manage to create a bounce so it's a make or break day tomorrow if we go lower than 2.26 that is not a good story because we might uh, dip um, more and uh, it's hard because the next drop could be a little far uh, I see here I'm in the weekly chart I normally do that if I see a lot of noise in the week and in the daily chart so I see that 2.13 is the next possible drop in case uh, we start moving lower than 2.26 tomorrow so if you go back to the daily chart uh, this is where your next drop is and it shows here right it just stayed uh, consistent in our um, interpretation this used to be your resistance over here it will revisit that most most likely if it breaks your 2.26 abs oh abs let us see did they go back still no movement so i really cannot say anything as uh, as of yet and um I have a question. This is just my honest question. Um, so they stopped, right? They were asked to uh, stop operations. But do you really, do you honestly believe that they will close down? I don't think that that will happen. Because uh, here, there will always be a resolution in um, problems like that. And they think the issue there is around their... Um, Franchise, right? So all they have to do is pay and then uh, renew their franchise and they're all good. Unless there are more serious and uh, other other issues there. Right? The next one is... Sorry, I, I, I don't have any other insights for ABS, but people definitely... Um, if it was or it is uh, currently ongoing in terms of uh, trading if they did not halt this or suspend this uh, chances are this will decline uh, significantly and if they are going to uh, open this again even before the resolution of uh, their issue in the franchise expect that it will drop big time so for the holders of ABS, uh, maybe our only hope here is they go back and uh, reopen this when the resolution is already up. So that the next possible movement we see here is going to be uh, an uptrend. Meg. Oh, this is, I also got this. The only reason. Well, I see Meg as or also a stable company, but I don't really see very long-term uh, engagement in Meg. Uh, as soon as I see profitable uh, exit, then uh, that's the time I exit. Uh, the reason why I entered here is because, and I forgot what date I entered, I think around this, when I saw this. Um, because we're very near that bottom. 
and uh, also badly beaten stuff at the time when I entered here. Okay, so we're still doing flatline from the time I entered. So uh, I can plot. I know it's one of these days. Eh? That's when I entered. I try to backtrack my videos. Now, here, I think we are just sitting right at the um, support area. I think my entry price is 2.63. Yeah, around 2.63. We're just uh, very near our support level. And uh, let us see if, uh, you know, because this is a support and you have a doji, maybe we will have a possible uh, change in direction, which is to the upside. Notice when you have a uh, doji very near your support area. Next is a possible uh, increase in price. Let's see. 100k, 707 776,000k million here compared to 56, 12, 255. Majority wanted to buy at that area. So we are just sitting at the support level. Okay. So I am more of a position trader. I wait for the right timing. <clears throat> mm. Sec B. Why? Where did I write that? Sec B. Okay. This is another bank. And uh, similar to MBT, also doing sideways. For a very long time now and uh, we have a constricted Bollinger Band here and uh, one thing to be extra careful uh, be extra careful of is when it starts to trigger your lower Bollinger Band because you might have a breakdown in price there however it's been a long time since you have this so Maybe people are already just holding on to this and, uh, you know, they're not exiting. They're waiting for the perfect time, a good catalyst for it to bounce. I think it's just waiting. It's just, uh, you know, it's like a sleeping dragon. AGI. AGI, I don't feel good. You know why? So this is a doji. This is a doji over here, and you're very near a resistance. It's not really uh, close to it, but uh, notice as we move up, it declines and move up again. And this is a doji, and then you have a red candlestick here. Um, then chances are we might have continuous decline. Okay, you're high here, so you had you managed to do a bounce, right? Bounce a little. So that's your uh, resistance. It dipped. You now have a lower low. Lower than the previous low. When it bounced up again, your high now is much lower than the previous high. So that's a lower high. Perfect example of a downtrend. So lower low and a lower high. So if I'm to plot the trend line over here, it shows something like this. Ah, so many drawings. Let me clear that up. If I'm to uh, do a trend line, it might follow this direction, okay? There you have it. Could be that, okay? So, not a good story. That's a doji. Then followed by a uh, solid red. We might have some more decline. And uh, it might touch this area and will act as a uh, support. And then it will bounce again. But uh, you might also have a lower low. So, uh, my insights for today is only good for uh, tomorrow. And we'll check again tomorrow if uh, you might see some possible uh, you know, uh, 
change in direction. Who knows? We'll see the kind of candlestick by tomorrow. So that is for AGI. EEI. EEI still a no, no significant movement, but there's foreign buying here. You also have more buying. I 212 against 267. It might still continue to move sideways, but if it dips 114 over here, 530. Yeah. You're still at the support area. It might still continue to move sideways. Okay, just um, closely monitor that. Uh, the nearer you are to the 524 uh, level for a possible support, uh, I think that would be a much better entry price. Actually, 521. Okay, so that's the support area that we see. It might give us a chance there, and if you want to uh, start accumulating volume for the stock because you believe in the fundamentals, then uh, this is a perfect time. You're already at the bottom. While we're doing sideways, your RSI is starting to pick up uh, in terms of momentum. Next is JFC. Oh my goodness, JFC. Still doing sideways. <laughs> Also constricted. Uh, I still want to plot our support in this area, uh, which is very near 135 area. So no bullish movements yet, especially because of uh, extended quarantine. People are not going to be uh, very excited to go out of uh, their respective homes and go to Jollibee or go somewhere in malls. So they're very much affected as well. And uh, sideways would still be my uh, initial interpretation of this formation. Uh, the next one is Ma. Ma is uh, currently touching. It did actually touch your ME20 line and you had a uh, uh, bounce the same day. So it's possible that we will continue to move up and uh, change the direction to the upside okay we might have uh, once it moves higher we might even have a higher high for this stock okay so in an Elliott wave it might continue but in the nearest resistance that I see here is here at the moment okay <clears throat> Do you see anything here? Anyway, but this is the support. This is the resistance that I see uh, uh, at the moment. Nearest resistance. And I can only speak uh, for uh, the nearest support and resistance. We cannot anticipate yet uh, what will the next possible moves as we go near the 2.91. So once we're nearer that line, then we talk about it uh, even more. Just, uh, of course, continue to request this talk so we can uh, look at it. In the meantime, I see it possible. Uh, I need a. I see a possible bounce at the 2.36 area. If the market gives you a chance at that level, so that would be a much better entry uh, than, uh, of course, the price higher than that. 2.36 is the support. Morocco. This I don't understand. Oh, there you have it. <laughs> it's already a bounce. So I was about to say, I don't understand why the uh, price for Morocco has been dropping. Uh, but the need for power is there regardless of the situation. Our power consumption or the energy consumption is still the same. Especially uh, during the summertime. I don't know why it's uh, it actually dropped. Possibly because there are a lot of businesses that are uh, currently closed and they... Uh, consume a lot of energy and power so look at this this is a bounce which is a good sign so i see some more movements uh moving up 264 there you have it um and uh, if the market gives you a chance anywhere from uh 256 to 264 that should be a really good entry price okay also, the, this stock gives out regular dividend pay. 
So maybe another list or another stock that we can add on our list for top picks would be Meralco. Um, of course, it's a basic necessity. We need power. Number two, uh, if you want to go long term and just forget about the stock, you will receive a regular payout on uh, the dividend here. I think this is what? Every quarter? Yeah, looks like it's uh, giving a uh, giving away uh, dividends on a quarterly basis. Okay. All right. So Patricia. Okay, let me just go back again. Uh, Maria. Okay, Nathaniel, Sumaya. Good evening, Miss JD. Patricia Prieto. Uh, hi. Uh, thank you for joining. And uh, if you have not subscribed yet, by the way, to our channel, please hit the subscribe. We'll grow this community, and we can have a study session every night. Uh, Nathaniel, let me also add this uh, to my list. I, you have uh, requested. Bloom Dito, I already talked about it, so I have to remove that tag. I did. Uh, so we have not talked about Bloom FB. Ma, I already did talk about that. So left, what's left would be uh, Bloom FB and Euro. Maria has a question. Can you please share how did you learn to master the candlestick combination? Uh, I'm, I'd like to say that I'm not an expert. It's just that I always watch and study this is already the result of my everyday uh, rigor on uh, technical analysis it's starting to pay off um, sometimes or if I'm to look back more than two years ago it takes a long time before I can say that this stock is going to move up or this stock is going to move down but right now it's giving us a um, good uh, results in just a matter of seconds we can already spot uh, the direction based on the candlestick patterns and the formation so it's just consistency guys that is why um, the people I see on a regular basis here I can right away uh, feel there's a big potential in uh, the success of your journey here as well and for all I know, you guys are even more active in the morning trading, right? So that's times two because I am only more active at night when I do the live. Patterns, of course, yeah, you have to, we really have to expose ourselves in this so we become uh, good at reading patterns. And my uh, action item is to record some more videos so that I have a library uh, in place I don't have to go to Google every time to uh, review and check all right so let us continue Miranko done Cebu Pacific downtrend still so we are triggering the lower band here right so as I mentioned each time we trigger a lower band drastic drop so I can smell the same thing again uh, double bottom for me is the next um, drop that I see. It might go back to 36. Okay, so um, if you are still considering, if you feel that this is cheap, wait because you can still get it at a much cheaper price. And uh, I think it might take probably a year for it to go back to uh, the new normal or even longer than that because there's really no... Uh, progress yet in terms of uh, the vaccine or the cure of uh, uh, COVID-19. So people are still really extra careful in um, their travels. So not everyone will be interested in traveling anytime soon. Even if quarantine is going to be lifted, people are still very hesitant. Uh, MBT. So I think I talked a little bit about MBT. We are still doing sideways here. No major catalyst as of yet. That is why uh, people are just holding on to their positions. And uh, this is the time when uh, position traders are really excited because they've uh, managed to um, you know, catch it at the lowest point. And we're just waiting for that bounce. I feel that MBT has already reached the bottom, to be honest. Okay, and it's just stabilizing at that area. Costco. 
Let's go over here. It's a it's a bearish candlestick, right? So the next support that I see is at the MA20 level. So if you want to haggle, yes, there is an opportunity for a much cheaper price. And let's um, review once again once the price goes near 4.95, which is your support. Pure gold. Oh, okay. So we managed to bounce at the MA20 line. Uh, however, it was right away negated by, you know, we only had a two days worth of uh, a glory there or rejoice. Uh, but green candlestick and then there's also a red candlestick. So that's not a good sign. We might break. Uh, this MA20 level, if we break the MA20 level, then that's not a good sign. In, in the meantime, I'd like to plot it here. But uh, mind you guys, uh, I'd like to uh, give you a reminder that this is already a FOMO level. It's already very high from the bottom. See that? Uh, people are already uh, starting to take profit at this point here. Okay, but uh, if you just want to check if it will continue to move up, the nearest support uh, that I see at the moment is 45.87. So use the much faster time frame if you want to trade this. Okay, and be extra careful. If it drops below the 45.87, uh, don't wait for a 10% drop before you exit. Does that make sense? Cut your loss early. So for the chances for your loss or cut loss level to be reached, um, Okay, let me rephrase that. You have to enter very near a support area so that you have enough wiggle room uh, for your uh, uh, cut loss level. The chances of it being reached is very slim. Okay, so for example, my threshold in my risk to reward ratio is uh, my risk tolerance is only up to 3%. Okay, 3% from my entry price. So see the difference, okay? I'll put a 3% mark here. Okay. Example, that is a 3%. Ah. Put that here. Enter at the area where it is at right now. The chances of that being hit is really high because you entered very near a resistance. And I said that here, knowing I see that there's a red candlestick. We see this stock moving downwards. And so the chances of it being hit is really high. However, if you put that right at the um, support level, you enter at this area, for example. You enter at the 3%. I mean, at the support level. Your 3% is right here. For example, that's the one. Um, it's color black, so... Okay, so that is your support level. So if we know that it is going to bounce at the uh, support area, then the chances of that being it is really slim. Comparing it to just randomly entering uh, anywhere here, not realizing that you are actually uh, entering at a very near resistance. And you know the true nature of a stock. Now, when it reaches a resistance, uh, it drops. Does that make sense? MRC. MRC is a stock engaged in uh, renewable energy, but it has been on a decline. Uh, I think it might take some time. You know, um, market outlook sometimes uh, changes over time, and maybe the potential of this stock might be realized. Not anytime soon it could be years and years from now when all of us are uh, highly dependent on renewable energy but uh, the, the niche or the business model of this stock is really um, you know there's a potential it's just that there's really no value as of yet it's only 15 cents um, I'm putting our support at this area where you had your previous support as well. The reason why I said that it will potentially uh, going to drop some more is because you broke the MA20 line. 
actually triggered yesterday when half of the candlestick is already below that and it's confirmed by today's candlestick so uh, chances of uh, this price revisiting the 13.97 is really really high AEB okay so this one is uh, for me is a bearish candlestick uh, you're very near a resistance which is your MA20 line so I think it will uh, revisit it'll give you a chance at the uh, previous support which is 38.22 okay all right considered bang hammer ang red candlestick ng ma let me check and then we go here A hammer can come out at the um, support area. So if you go to Ma, this one, this could be a hammer. Yeah, the green one. Actually, this one, they're almost close to each other. And there they came out of the uh, support area so yes I agree that is a um, hammer do you see that sometimes it can also look something like this it's called the inverted hammer candlestick this one as well okay so it can be a color red or color green but as long as it comes out near a support area, then that is going to be uh, a trigger of a possible change in direction. That's why we are plotting our uh, support at that level. So we talk about, so we're done with AEV, right? Then we talk about TAL. <coughs> TAL broke the MA20 line. And it, it has been on a significant climb here, right, for the past how many uh, weeks and uh, yeah the stock is just resting and I see it dropping at the uh, 1109 level or before that let's plot it here because I see support in this I mean resistance at this area and support build up at this area before it goes to the next level let's check out 130 no 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 1131.91 first Could be here then, you know. Yes, I see a resistance here. So let's just plot this as well. Tomorrow could be a make or break day. Because I have a resistance here. This could be a first layer of your Fibonacci retracement. 1170.43 and then 1131. But um, I don't feel good because we're starting to uh, trigger the uh, middle uh, MA20 line over here, which is the middle line. So I don't like it when that gets broken. All HC. <clears throat> All HC, we just dropped at the MA20 line. And let's observe. Um, but still, I'd like to use this as our uh, support area. Because sometimes, you know, uh, I've seen so many stocks respecting MA20. MA20 is such a powerful uh, indicator. And uh, some of our folks would combine MA20, MA50, and MA100. Uh, and uh, they use that as their main indicator. Let's have our support at the 1.78. Okay, first trigger, it's an MA20 level. Uh, number two indication here is that this used to be a resistance, uh, used to be a support, and we're just retesting the support probably before it takes off again. Overall, you're at a very cheap level. Uh, all the stocks are very cheap actually right now so there you have it and the next one is C C I think is already uh, bouncing at the uh, MA20 line see that um, the doji oftentimes really uh, sends a bullish signal bullish signal when it comes out at the uh, support level Right now, it's just being confirmed by the green candlestick. So the next possible movement here is a bounce uh, to the upside. 
but I'd like to use 3.15 still as our support level. Uh, to go? I wonder what happened to to go. Oh, okay, so there might be some more declines here. Let's first use this. Oh, let me have a weekly chart here. Yeah, it could possibly be a uh, bounce at the this level over here. Used to be a support, and then uh, for if we end, let's say, because this is still on a weekly chart, so we are still moving right uh, within the week. So if we manage to move higher, then this could be a support. Otherwise, now on a weekly chart, let me do this. I'll use a Fibonacci retracement. I remove this. Okay. So we're uh, using the wick here and then the wick here. So if you use just the body, then make sure you only use the body here. But um, given that we ha have used uh, two wicks, the next possible drop here is at the uh, 9 peso level. We already broke here, broke the uh, first line of possible bounce. So let's see how it pans out on your daily chart. Okay, so this is a red. That means we might trigger some more declines here. And which is right now on a daily chart where our 9 peso level is, in fact, uh, very near your MA20 line. So uh, that is a... Um, next possible area to focus on. The next one is MWC. All right. MWC. Okay, so this is not a good story. Second day, um, of showing bearish signal so that's not a good sign we might have some more drops 11.70 okay so that's the next uh, area that this m might land at ICT okay ICT use your MA20 line as your support level I think it will just be still uh, be moving uh, sideways and uh, it might be go might go back to your 82.25 level before it goes up again. Uh, DMC. DMC, I think this is a bounce, right? 4.9. This is the support level. I just put allowance when I do my support, which is actually uh, uh, just being... Uh, validated by these price levels here uh, each time that gets hit there's a slight bounce and uh, I feel that we will have more bullish actions in the coming days for this particular stock so anywhere from where it is at right now which is 4.26 to 4.14 that is already a, a good promising area to enter all right Yeah, I also watch uh, Ray. I also watch Rainer Teo. I watched a lot of his videos. He, he's good. Uh, good evening. Uh, this is Ray C. X, please. Yeah, I can add that. By the way, guys, um, to show your support to Miss JD, I have a simple request. You know, uh, we are now... Uh, showing ads on our uh, videos so if you join our live or if you uh, do a playback of our uh, videos uh, please don't skip the ad <laughs> that's my only um uh, that's your way of helping miss jd here and also if you're happy with what we're doing here you can click that uh super chat there and uh we accept any gift from you there um next would be Bloom. Oh, 
All right. Blue might go back to your 5.19. You're sitting at the uh, possible resistance right here, which is your MA20 line. So we got some rejection there. Uh, and ending the candle uh, on a red or ending the day on a red today. So I will not be surprised if uh, the next moves by tomorrow is going to be red. But guess what? I think if it will retrace, it's just within this range. Very, very near. 5.19 against 5.48. Um, because uh, this slight decline is just uh, temporary. And I feel that the next possible movement is really to the upside. Uh, notice here the volume today is very low as we reach the price higher um, and we uh, declined not a lot of people actually exited their trades the volume is low and then I feel that the next movements would just if there's a dip just minimal dip and then the next is to the upside Uh, FB, Euro, and X. Oh, FB, we triggered the upper band, but we ended the uh, day red. But two things can happen here. This could just be a temporary, uh, you know, rest in the uh, price movement because uh, this was a significant increase in price. The reason why I said that is because we're still outside of the Bollinger Band. So this could just be a temporary uh, decline and uh, we might trigger some more movements here. Uh, for now, I'm plotting this level because uh, we can never tell. We had a big candlestick movements for the past two days. And if the price hits anywhere, so I say anywhere, from 60 to 63 is already a good area to start um, buying some more volume. Look at that. Look at the potential. This is San Miguel food and beverage. So there's a high potential for this stock to really grow higher. Euro. Euro broke. Oh, it broke the MA20 line. Okay, but you're very near the support right now. Your previous support will be, uh, your previous resistance will now become your support. So we're just sitting at that area for three days straight now. So 2.35 is our support. Let us see if it will continue to make some bounce in that level. Next is X. X managed to bounce with a good volume right here. So that's good. Um, in case, you know, 7.94 in the Philippine market is already a noticeable increase in the price level. So some people might take profit and anywhere from 0.64 to 6.68 would be a good area to try out. Uh, if you want, just uh, play around with your uh, sizing, okay? Don't put everything just one trade and uh, probably add 25% uh, or 35% of your buying power there and then add some more as it moves the price higher. Because one thing that I can say, as of today, this bounce was paired with the right volume, which is an ideal uh, setup there. We like it when there's a, a good volume increase uh, in any given day. Look at this. From no, almost no volume here, and then there's a sudden spike in the volume, then the next moves is a climb. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Ms. JD. Thanks for your daily insights from Informator. Um, please review Web and BDO. Oh, I already uh, reviewed. So I'll add that because I was not able to document my uh, conversation around Web and BDO. I mean, BDO. I talked about BDO earlier. Uh, we're doing sideways here for BDO, similar to how the other banks are moving. And uh, we're seeing just within this range, actually, uh, as our support level. Around 96, 95, around that area. So that's our support line, very near. So it has to be slightly higher or slightly lower. That's just fine. It's an area. So uh, I might see some more triggers of uh, sideways movement here before it officially takes off. Unless we stop the quarantine, I think a lot of uh, the major players including the banks, um, will just stay calm in the flatline uh, 
for days or even months if we don't see uh, any progress in you know the back to business uh, plan for all of the major businesses web web broke the ma20 line so we don't like that uh, so the chances are of uh, really revisiting this support here is high this is the support that we see okay 2.26 level so far and once we hit that area let's talk again and see if uh, it will really uh, confirm that bounce uh, always take note that if it uh, breaks this line because this is already high in terms of from where it started uh, if it breaks your 2.26 i think this stock uh, for in most okay in most occasions uh, this stock is really just good for trading uh, unless you believe in the fundamentals and you have some insider scoop about the future projects then you can stay long term for now i think this stock is just really good for trading okay looks like another day or another episode of a very productive and insightful uh, uh, discussion right so Nathaniel said, Madamo gid nga salamat, Miss JD, God bless. So Madamo man nga salamat. And uh, please continue to share our channel. And uh, yeah, I hope we have more and more people join us uh, every night. And uh, that really inspires me. And I think it also inspires you to have someone of the same interest uh, talk about this every night. I know there are a lot of people who already are doing this and... Uh, you're welcome to explore those, but I really enjoy having you guys every night. I hope you don't leave Miss JD uh, doing a solo study. <laughs> I will not stop. That's the only thing that I can uh, say to you guys. Uh, Miss JD will not stop because we are forming a skill here. And uh, be consistent. Okay? In the meantime, do you have any other questions? Okay, if uh, there are no questions, uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like if you're happy with what we have covered today. Okay, thank you and uh, good night for now. Bye-bye.